Okay, so how to grab textures from vanilla. First, you're gonna need the multi-tool, which I assume you have. Uh, search index. Then uh, you're gonna wanna get the mesh name. So this is the one we're looking for right now. Um, and then you can just hit enter. Now, because I'm searching for something very specific, there will only be like two results, which is the GR2 itself. So the model and then the uh, LSF file, which is the one you're gonna need. If you're looking for something less specific, I don't know why you're doing that, but you can also filter just for the uh, LSF. But yeah, you're gonna need the LSF. Uh, I click convert and open. It opens with uh, Visual Studio Code for me because that's the program I use for coding. Um, please note that this can take a little bit because some of these files are really big. Um, so give it a second to load. Um, also, the reason you're clicking convert and open is because um, the LSF files aren't supported by uh, Visual Studio Code, I think. So it converts it to an LSF LSX, which it can't open. Now, this is still loading because it's so big, but what you can do is Control F and then search for the name of the thing we were looking for. So as you can see, it'll give you this, which is in the visual bank. That means this is just like, it tells the game where to pull the visuals from. Um, this part you can ignore, like this part we don't need. Um, what you're gonna wanna get is, um, so I think with this one, it's a little fucked because if I look in Blender, right? I think the corset mesh is actually the shirt for some fucking reason, I can check in Blender. I have Jaws's uh, files open. Let me just close that real quick. If I import this mesh, right? I had this uh, <laughs> open for easy access. I'm gonna delete the LEDs. If we look at this, you can see there's the shirt mesh, which for some fucking reason is the corset, and the corset mesh, which for some fucking reason is the shirt. To this, we simply say, Larian, sigh. So you're probably gonna want to get the shirt D mesh for some fucking reason again, right? So if you look at it, shirt D corset, um, that's not the one we need. We need the uh, human F clothing corset B shirt D. Because if you look in Blender, look, shirt D. This one comes with this string of, well, numbers and letters, the UUID. So you're gonna select that and then Control F. It'll get you a bunch of results. Just go up all the way. Let me see if this. Okay, now we are in the material bank. This is the material bank entry. Um, you're gonna wanna scroll all the way to the bottom of this entry. So that is the entry until, uh, you just keep going until you see like the next resource. This is the next one. Just above that should be the virtual texture parameters. This is the one we need. This ID, we're gonna control F again, go up, it will lead you to the virtual texture bank. There, you can grab this one, the GTEx file name, and control C, so copy. We're gonna go back to our multi-tool, paste it in there, and then just hit enter. This should get you a GTP file. That's this one. Um, this does require you to have the virtual textures indexed, but yeah, this is how you find it. So then you click open folder. Now we're gonna give it a second to open the folder with all the virtual textures. Give it a second. La la la. Mm -mm -mm. This takes a little bit because it's a big folder, okay. Then, do you see just a bunch of fucking numbers again? Just search it here again, paste it in here again, and I will select the view, extra large icons. You will get these three maps. This one you can ignore. You'll get three maps. There is the one with the color. This one is the BM. This is the NM or normal map, and this is the physical map or PM. These are the files you're gonna wanna get. And that's it. That's basically how you find any virtual texture. Um, they are laid out so the UVs match uh, the mesh. 
as you can see, this is the corset. You can double check it by looking at it. So if we just copy these for a second so I can show you how they look in Blender. And because you're using these for rendering, um, I'm assuming it'll be easy to set up. I'm just going to slap them in here. I am going to rename them real quick so I know which one they are. So the one with the colors was the corset BM, base color map. Uh, the blue one, so this one is corset, let's call it corset normal map. And this one is the corset physical map. Okay. Now, back in Blender, let me show you how to set this up uh, the easiest way. We're going to go to uh, the material preview mode. And the easiest way to set this up, let me hide the armature real quick, is go here. Uh, assign a material, let's call it corset, then go to shading. Now these might look different for you, they might be in a different location for you. This is just how my blender set up. So when you make a material and don't do anything else, th this should be what you see, the principal BSDF and the material output. What you're going to want to do is uh, here, shift A, search image texture. Now for me they're in my recent because I use this a lot, but you know open, go to the place your uh, files are located. Okay, so you have the course at BM. Make sure uh, the BM is set to sRGB. Color goes in base color. If it has an alpha, the alpha goes in the alpha channel. Uh, but I don't know if this has an alpha, I'll look. That's, uh, so the alpha in terms of textures is for see-through materials, which you're probably not gonna need. Um, okay, then next one is the PM, so of course it's PM. This one needs to be set to non-color. And you're going to drag the color node into metallic and roughness. And then for the final one, you're going to want to get the normal convert in. This is from Volno's Texture Tools, um, which I assume you have. Then another node, image texture, open gonna go back here grab the normal map this one again set to non color plug the normal map color in here normal map alpha in here and then click normal to normal now if we look there you go now we can always check if it has an alpha I don't think this has any alpha textures but if you have see-through materials on there you can simply go here blend mode alpha clip or alpha hashed doesn't matter but as you can see, this one is not see-through, it's just a solid mesh. And that's it. Ta-da!